Hello, I'm Ward Brown. It's August in St. Louis, and that means it's toasty out here. Of course, that's not the only thing that's hot. The stock market is sizzling, and the housing and job markets are too. Consumer demand is hot, and yes, prices are too. The economy is running all cylinders, and the market is at all-time highs. Thus, the dog days of summer aren't too bad this year. But as the back-to-school season begins anew, the peak of the expansion that we have experienced since COVID hit more than a year ago is getting closer. But does that have to be such a bad thing? Let's take a look. Me again, but the buttoned up version. As mentioned, stocks have been terrific this year and for good reason. There's also good things happening in Argent portfolios where all strategies continue to outperform their benchmarks year to date. Obviously performance for any manager can change, so we don't like to brag about it too loudly, but there's been some pep in the step around the office. Recently, second quarter earnings has come to a close, and it was not just a good earnings season, it was a great one. Companies put up big numbers and beat analysts' expectations by a historically wide margin. Expectations were for 53% earnings growth in Q2, but it's looking closer to 90% all said and done. And more importantly, estimates for the rest of the year continue to rise, meaning belief in better earnings going forward is getting stronger. In addition, Congress appears close to passing another stimulus bill. This one focused on infrastructure. Plus, early child tax credit payments continue for another five months. That should benefit consumers who are already spending at a healthy pace. Nonetheless, the economy has gone from shutdown to rapid recovery in record time, and that'll start to normalize. It'll undoubtedly get labeled as slowing down, but all evidence points to activity remaining at very healthy levels. Slowing down doesn't have to mean reversing course, it just means the growth is still there, just less than at the torrid pace of the last few months. In our last video, we flagged two important issues that remain front and center. The first is inflation. Many of you have probably noticed it during uh, normal summer fun, but this year, road trips and travel has come with higher gas prices or more expensive plane tickets. Barbecues and going out to dinner means higher food prices or maybe even lack of available staff. I really hope your HVAC hasn't broken down, but if it had, you probably or could have been told the part's gonna take three or four weeks just to get here. Inflation has arrived and the big question is, how long will it stick around? Clogged up supply chains will start to settle down, but things like rising wages or the cost of rent and housing prices, those are stickier and longer term concerns. The second issue is when or how the Federal Reserve begins to reverse some of the massive stimulus it's injected into the financial system. There's a big annual meeting in Jackson Hole in August and then another Fed meeting, the more traditional kind, in September. Both could hold clues that impact markets. Just recently, there's been a third potential thorn, that's the Delta variant of COVID. I'm sure you've read and heard about it. It's begun to weigh on some of the behaviors associated with reopening. Hopefully that's a short-term blip. And fortunately, even with that overhang, the economy in some remains in a very good place. Consumers and companies are still flush with cash and the government is spending. That is very good for the market. And we remain cautiously optimistic as the second half unfolds. Thanks very much for watching and please reach out anytime with comments or questions.